Hey, how's she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. We're out in the shop this morning trying to get my chainsaw to go. Uh, last time I used it, I had a hard time getting it to start and then it didn't run all that great. I think there's old fuel in it. But anyway, we're going to have a go at getting her started this morning because i got some windfall I have to cut up. So let's have a look, see if we can get this old Husk Farner 55 running. Okay, first off, uh, we're going to take the cover off it. Last time I used the saw, I had a hard time getting it to run, and it didn't run very well. So I'm not sure really what's up with it. But, we'll try to find out. The saw is probably, uh, this saw would be 12 years old maybe. Anyway, the air cleaner looks good and clean. Let's just check out this plug. So the plug, uh, I mean, it looks like it's been used, but it doesn't look bad. I'm just going to see if we have some spark here. Well, right away that explains why she won't go. I don't see any spark. Nothing. Alright, so that's where we're going to go next. So, I'm going to take this side cover off now. Taking this coil off just to, so I can do a little examination of it. There. All right. So there's the coil. And it doesn't look too bad. So I'm not sure. So I took the coil out of my saw. So I'm going to put my saw down here. And I'm lucky enough to have an old saw here for parts. Uh, I got this from a buddy of mine. And it has a coil on it. So I'm going to take this coil off and try to put it on my saw and see if it works any better. All right, there's the coil off the old part saw. I'll bring my saw back on the bench and I'll install this one. I hope it works. Gap setup card.
Okay. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to right quick going to connect this wire on here. Need a pair of pliers for that. Turn that on. We put a plug in it. And then I'm going to check for spark again. Oh, I need to put a pull cord on it. Oh shoot! All right, I guess I'm going to have to lay this in here the way it's supposed to go. Start cover on it. It's as cold as a pork shoulder in the barn here this morning. It's nice and sunny outside, but cold in here. Okay, now I can check for spark. Still no spark, so I'm guessing I got a bad coil and even my spare coil was bad, so I guess we'll put the brakes on this one until I can get another coil. Alright, so what I've done is, uh, we're back here at the chainsaw, trying to figure out why it won't start. I thought there was a bad coil, but then when I was checking on YouTube, I find out that there's other things you can check before you actually go ahead and change the coil. I want to verify that I'm getting spark first of all, so I have my spark checker. So I stick that on here. Lots of spark here, I'll show you. So I think you can see here's my spark tester here. Watch this. Quite a little spark there, eh? So with with the spark working good like that, I'm thinking, what is wrong with my spark plug? Uh, so this is a NGK BPMR7A. So when I plug this in as best I can, making sure that it's making good contact, and when I hold that on the on the block. No spark. <clears throat> so I look for another plug. So I don't have an exact replacement, but I do have a plug that's similar just to test to see if the spark is going to work. And I still don't get any spark. So, like, my concern is, is the plug now making good contact within the plug wire? So I take my pliers, and inside the plug wire, the little cap that hooks onto the plug, it's just a, a little loop of wire, of uh, metal I mean. So I'm going to just try to compress that a little bit, to make sure that it's making good contact with the plug, when I insert the plug in there. So I'll use the original plug again. I think that's making good contact. Still no spark. Okay, so I'm getting lots of spark. Now, with the uh, 
NGK plug. Where did that go? Oh, <laughs> right in front of me. Uh, when I just plug this in here and check it, I don't see any sparks. So I'm thinking it's a bad plug, but when I check the plug, it checks out okay. What I did also, uh, just to verify the gap, the book says the gap should be 20 thou. I only have a 25 thou uh, gauge, and the 25 thou will go in there, so it's a little bit bigger than it should be. But uh, if I put this back in here, there's one other thing I want to do to check it. Alright, I've just got a, some carb cleaner. I'm going to spray a little carb cleaner in here. Alright. And then try and start. So, uh, what do you think was wrong with the saw? Uh, I, I can't see any spark when I just hold the plug on the, the block on the, the cylinder here and crank it. I get good spark with my spark plug tester. I can't seem to see any spark with the plug, but when I put it back together, it starts and it runs good. Doesn't miss. I don't know. I think I still have a problem with my saw. I'm going to get a new plug, put a new plug in it. I'm going to verify that this wire is good and that the little end that clips on the electrode of the plug is uh, crimped down good so that it gets a good hold of it. But other than that, I don't know, she's a mystery. So, you know, I'm going to get a new plug for it and try the new plug. But in the meantime, the saw seems to be working good. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what you think the problem might be or is because I think there still is a problem with my saw. I don't know whether a new plug will fix it or not, but we're going to get one and we'll see. I'll keep you posted. So, what's wrong with my saw? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It seems like it'll work here in the shop when I'm ready to fix it, but when I need it to work, when I'm out in the yard, yeah. Can't pull, can't pull hard enough to get her to go. Anyways, we'll see. In the next couple of days, I've got some windfall here I need to block up and haul away, so we'll see how good my saw works then. But in the meantime, if you have any ideas of what might be wrong with that saw, how about let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm getting a new plug to put in it, and I've ordered a new coil. So when the coil shows up, I'm going to put the coil in it, and I'll put a plug in it, and hopefully that'll make a difference. Uh, the fuel filter has been replaced last fall. And it hasn't been used much since then, uh, but there was oil sitting in the saw winter, so I don't know, maybe the fuel filter's clogged up too, but I have a new fuel filter, I could put that in as well. Any ideas would be appreciated. Thanks a lot. And in the meantime, everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please click like, click subscribe if you have a mind to, and if you haven't subscribed already, sure would appreciate it. And uh, like I say, if you have had any ideas of what's up with my saw, I'd love to read your comment to find out what your thoughts of the problem are. Okay, in the meantime, take care, stay safe, wash your hands, look out for your neighbors, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.